Hello everybody. Today I wanted to show you how you can take your Microsoft Edge and turn off the auto updates so it will never get any more updates. Now one of the reasons you may want to do this is because the version of Microsoft Edge that you have on your Windows 10 computer is working perfectly for certain applications that you need. Maybe you need to pull up a camera system and it has to have a certain version of Microsoft Edge in order for it to work. Maybe you don't want to lose going into Internet Explorer mode and so you need to keep it on that version of Microsoft Edge so it won't update and lose that capability. Well, whatever the reason may be, I wanted to show you how you can turn off the auto update so that it'll stay on that same version of Microsoft Edge. So let's go over to the Windows 10 computer now and I'll show you exactly what steps to take. Okay, so the first step you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn your computer on and have it on the Windows 10 desktop, just like you see here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up Registry Editor. Now the way I like to do it is you click on the Start button right here and you type in Reg Edit. And then I like to run it as administrator so that you have all the rights that you need to to make any changes. So I'm going to click on run as administrator. And then in just a moment, it'll give you a message and it'll say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So we do want to allow that. So we're going to click on yes. Now here what we want to do is we want to go to the H key local machine. And then, once that opens up, you want to go to Software, and you can double-click on Software, and it'll expand it for you. And then you want to double-click on Microsoft. Now, there's a whole bunch of them right there, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right-click on Microsoft, and we're going to click on New, and then Key. And then we're going to give this the name Edge update and then we're just going to go ahead and press enter on our keyboard and there you go there's a new key that's been created for us now we need to go over here to the right side and we need to right click and we need to create a new D word so we're going to click on D word and then this is a little bit lengthy but we're going to type in do not update to Edge with Chromium. And then what you're going to do is press Enter, and then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to double click on it, and you're going to change the value to 1 and click OK. Now, I would suggest at this point closing out of Registry Editor and then restarting the computer by clicking on Start clicking on the little power icon, and then telling it to restart. Now, once you restart the computer, and that'll take a few minutes for it to restart, or yours may be incredibly quick and only take like 5 or 10 seconds, but once it finishes restarting, it will no longer get any of the Microsoft Edge updates for your computer. So whatever version of Microsoft Edge your computer has been running on, it's going to continue to run on that version. Now, I would recommend that you make sure everything is working with your Microsoft Edge and you're not having any trouble before you turn this on. Because once you turn it on, it won't get any more updates. Now, if you do notice that in the future you're having trouble pulling up certain websites, you can always go back into that key and change it from a 1 to a 0, and it'll start getting the Microsoft Edge updates. But that's how you would turn off those Microsoft Edge updates so that they won't update anymore so that you can keep whatever you need to keep running whether it's a camera system or a website that you use or a plugin that you need to have and it only works with certain versions of Microsoft Edge. So I hope that was helpful on how you can turn off your Microsoft Edge updates on your Windows 10 computer. If you do have any questions about this please let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you about that. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, 
please let me know that down below in the comments as well. And I will do my best to create that video for you. And because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up all this great content like how do I turn off my Microsoft Edge updates on my Windows 10 computer? And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.